my life, which I think is what Dungeons and Dragons is. It's already trash. Um, Lies and slander. Lies and slander. I know. Um, So we're going to start off with, um, I mean, I'm doing this in chapters and we're going to start off with our first chapter. And the first chapter is Rothfang Keep. Um, and, and I'll give you guys a little bit of background, uh, but first let's go ahead and introduce your characters a little more in depth, uh, than just your name and what class you are, um, kind of explain actually just your name and class and I'll explain everything else. Never mind. Sorry. Just kidding. Ha <laughs> ha. Go ahead. <laughs> go ahead and start. He's uh, not giving us that kind of power. <laughs> no, you don't have that power. All right. I, I'll go first. Uh, mm-hmm. So my character's name is Lemon. He is a lightfoot halfling monk. And as as like everybody else, we are all starting at level three. Yep, cool. Any uh quirks or anything strange that we need to know about or um he's very curious. Uh he's not the most intelligent monk in the world, but damn it, he loves his quarter staff. Awesome. All right. Scott. Zalanus, Zalanus Nightshadow, the level three drow ranger, was literally raised by wolves. And because of that, he is slow to trust others because people don't usually get along with drow up in the upper world. Weird. I know. Yeah. Not, actually, it's not weird at all. <laughs> and, and, and you can probably say, I mean, he was raised by wolves, so he's like a homeschooler, right? Yeah, <laughs> like, like it's very socially awkward. Very related. Doesn't quite understand social cues. Yeah, Not speaking much. from experience. <clears throat> uh, but... <laughs> yeah, he, that, it's just kind of his personality. He was literally <laughs> raised, literally raised by wolves, uh, and didn't really meet anyone until his later years. So, yeah. Okay. How how old is he? Because I know Jarvis lived for a while. He is forty one years old. He was still a baby. Yep. Still very, baby. very young drow. Yeah. All right. Um, Colin. Yes. Uh, I'm going to change your name every time. Just warning. Fair enough. All right. Uh, <laughs> That's I, I Again, I'm playing Colvin Fletcher, the half-elf bard. Carries around his, his awesome loot. And he's so very interesting. I have so many things to say about him. Uh-huh. Yeah. I can tell. <laughs> Good start. Good start. All right, Jared. Um, I'm Brockmar the Brutal, a uh, half orc barbarian. Uh, let's see. Uh, he likes to smash faces, loves <sighs> coin, ale, and women. And yeah. All right. You'll learn more as we go. So. I'm excited. I'm excited. All right. So let's get in. Let's get stuck in. Let's see how this sounds. Um, it's gonna be the like the fourth time I've read it out loud to myself, so we'll see. Uh, <laughs> all right, so we're starting with chapter one, and uh, it, it, this one is titled Rothfang Keep. So it's winter time, and not like the white Christmas winter. It's cold and dark. The cold that you just want to stay inside by the fire with a nice cup of spiced wine and not leave. So it's Quebec. Yeah. Or Montana. I don't know. <laughs> I, I haven't been to very high. <laughs> oh. Alaska. <laughs> I, they get a lot of snow. This is, this is like cold. There's not a lot of snow on the ground, um, but it, it's just cold. Think of like oh, so Game, of Thrones, Game of Thrones winter fell without snow, but still just freezing cold. So New York. Thrones. Um, it has been 65 years since magic has left this world. No one knows how, no one knows why, but it just disappeared one day. The city of Vieris is one of the most advanced cities in the known land. They have been researching why magic just disappeared. They formed a guild to collect magic items. I'll go into that a little bit later. Your party is a part of the guild. And you guys are called hunters. Or item hunters or treasure hunters, whatever you want. But the short term is hunters. You've been given a mission to collect 
the Ifrit bottle from an old abandoned dwarf mine called Rothfang Keep. It was abandoned shortly after the loss of magic. When you get to the keep, I'll give you more history. The quest was given by the head of your research guild. You've never met him, but he does all the assigning. He's basically like the CEO of the company. He tells you what to do, and you just have to do it. No, does like, he give it to us James Bond style? Like Sean Connery? No, no. Oh, oh no. we forgot our Sean Connery <laughs> update. <gasps> I'm just giving you a segue. Am, That's all. I am ashamed. At us. I am ashamed, uh, too. All right. I, what, I, what is our Sean Connery update? I, I'm sorry, everybody, but I have to interrupt and let everybody know that Sean Connery is indeed still alive today. Good. And he is looking just as good as he did yesterday. And that was today's Sean Connery update. Yes, he was. Thank you. Thank you guys so much for, for the Sean Connery update. I completely forgot about that. Every, every podcast, we will bring, be bringing you a Sean Connery update yes. because, you know, I think this is something that the people need to know. I, I think that's true. Um, okay, we all so think people need to know it. It's not everyone. Just Everyone needs to know this. Um, Shout it. Basically, right from a mountaintop. So you guys have been given the mission to go to a small town outside of Rothfang Keep. The town is car- called Harvest Home. And you're, you're, the only note that you received, the, the inner office memo that was given to you by a gnome. I, I don't have a name for him. Well, I'll come up with one later if we really have to. Um, said, go to the inn at Harvest Home, talk to the innkeeper. And that's all it said. So, the party, you guys got assigned, you all got picked. Um, you have never been a party before. With, with this guild, basically, they, they hand people assignments, and that's who you're with. You might not work with them next time, or you might say, hey, we worked really well together, we would like to stay together as a hunter. That's up to you guys. You might say uh, Brockmar's a dick and just kick him out. I don't know. That's up to you. But um, ah, no, uh, you know. <laughs> but you've been handpicked to go. So you are all in this wagon. It's been a three day journey in this freezing cold weather in this open wagon. It's not covered, not a Conestoga. There's no, you know, not you're not going west. You got, it's just open and cold. You've been three days on the road and it's about midnight as you guys get into the town of Harvest Home. Harvest Home is a small farming town. It's located about three miles below Rothfanke. It used to be uh, a town for all the traveling merchants. As a mine, as an old dwarven mine, it was very, very, uh, Rothfang Keep was very, very busy. A lot of people coming in and out, a lot of traders, a lot of merchants. Merchants would come from all over, sell to the keep, buy from the keep, do whatever merchants do. I don't know. I've never been a merchant class. That's just me. Um, after Magic left, Roth, uh, Rothfang was abandoned. Visitors stopped coming to Harvest Home, so the industry kind of died there. They're now just a small farming town that basically just looks after themselves. And uh, yeah, fairly small town, nothing too crazy. You guys come in, the cart pulls up um, to the the front of the inn and lets you out. What would you guys like to do? You're at the front of the the inn. Where's the nearest ale? Probably in the inn. Yeah, I don't there. need to go to the inn. Mm-hmm. Cool. So you guys, you guys uh, being let out at the inn, you look up and you see a, a, an old worn kind of wooden sign. And it says the Slaughtered Jester. The Slaughtered Jester? Happy. Yeah, very happy. Cool. Could, like, so you guys go well, on depending in. Depending if the Jester was a jerk, it might be happy, actually. Just saying. Well, it, it's happier now. It, it is much happier <laughs> now, yeah. <laughs> cool. So as you guys go in, um, you, you walk in. It's a very small inn. Um, 
you know, the, the common room probably seats about 15. It's dark. Um, there's a large fireplace kind of in the back um, as you walk into the back kind of right of the room on along the back right wall. Um, there's a fire pit slash place. Uh, there's five tables with four chairs around each of them. So it sits about 20 people. Um, there's a bar, not really like a bar, but kind of like a longer table um, where you can see a larger woman, um, very, very nice, warm woman behind the, behind that table. <laughs> well, she's been inside, so she's warm. I don't uh, know why I said warm, but, you know, that, hey, what happened? <laughs> Why, yeah, why is her temperature ear, important like... to us, man? She's a fire genasi. <laughs> no, no. Everybody calm down. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, she could, she could be. You don't know. <laughs> All right. So um, you guys walk into this inn. There are three people in there, um, th- th- three sitting at the tables, and then the lady behind the larger table. What would you like to do? Uh, DM, really quick, what was the name of yeah. the item that we were sent again to go find? If the Ifrit, Ifrit bottle. The bottle, if, yeah. Ifrit bottle. Thank you. Yes. I like how you call him DM. It's God, actually. You can just refer <laughs> to me as that. That's fine. I, I'll accept hey, that. Hey, Jem? So, Jem. I mean, Jem works refer, too. I'm going to refer to the DM as Jim. Jim. What are we supposed to do with the inn? So exactly. Your, your inner office memo. Uh, said to speak to the innkeeper. Oh, speak to the innkeeper. Mm-hmm. Is that the warm woman? I don't know. Is it? I walk up to the counter. All right. Are you the innkeeper? Oh, yes. Yes, I am. Welcome to my inn, the slaughtered jester. What can I do for you? We, we don't have a lot of visitors in this area. Yeah, we're, we're sitting here on a mission. We're trying to find some. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's right. All right, come. Waiting for you. Once you guys get all set up, you can come on down and I'll have some food ready for you and some nice ale. Ah, that's what I'd like to hear. Cool. So she she calls for uh, um, one of her barmaids. And she... Uh, the, one of the small, she's a smaller girl, I'd say about 12. You can probably tell it's her daughter. Um, she's like, Oh, sweetie, will you take them up to their room? It's already prepared. Room six. So, you know, it's a big inn. They probably only have six rooms, maybe. Um, you guys get, she takes you up to the room, um, and it's a very small room. There are four, uh, four beds in a bunk, so two bunk beds. Um, and that is, Basically, it think of it as like a dorm room size Top bunk. room. Ah, Top bunk. Dibs on, Damn it! I got dibs on the floor. <laughs> no okay. Thing. Is there There's a, a closet of, in this room? There is not a closet. It's is... basically two beds or two bunk beds, I should say. Hmm. And no wardrobe. Like no nothing no, that I can pull out no. a drawer. Okay. You cannot go to <laughs> Narnia. No. Well, you know, lemons. Lemons a small quiet, guy. Guys. He can set up a bed pretty easily. Yeah. Yeah. But there, there are four beds to fit medium-sized creatures. Sizists. Just a you're bit. small. It doesn't matter. You can <laughs> fit in anything. But yes, maybe. Um, cool. I so put you in my pocket. <laughs> what would you guys like to do from there? You are in your room. Would you like oh, to leave your gear? Do you, you want to keep keep your gear with you? Do you want to oh, stow it? Oh, okay. Fine. I guess if there is gear, there's one chest, one large oak chest that um, is at the back end of the room. So when you walk in, you see the chest first, and then to the left side, you have a bunk bed, and to the right side, you have a bunk bed. I guess I can give you guys a chest. Fine. Is there I'm going to check the chest? the chest for any type of uh, booby traps. I adjust my trap. <laughs> All right. Go ahead and roll a perception. Or, uh, sorry, not perception. Investigation. <laughs> I just credit it. Okay, okay, well, you notice that it's a chest. <laughs> and there are no traps. It is Guys, a chest with a lock on it. That this chest is clean. It. <laughs> so, I'm so glad you checked. There's so glad you checked. wrong with it. We're good. All right. So, um, would you like to stow your gear? As I said, there is a lock with one key that's in the chest. 
So um, you can obviously put your stuff in, lock it, and take the key with you. I mean, I really I wasted a 20 on that. You did. You really did. Yes. Lame. Um, I'm going to keep my gear with me. So Okay. I'm keeping my weapon on me, but I'll put away all the extra crap. I mean, so I like your adventures kit and things. your backpack yeah. and things like that? Yeah, but I'm keeping my bone clipper on me and my swords. Okay. Um, Colin, it might just be you, actually. Just, just looking through, it looks like uh, we're having some mic issues. Um, I know. Don't you love the interwebs? Um, um, is the uh, is the barmaid still in here? No, she she opened the door and just kind of walked. Okay. She's not really impressed with you guys. I mean, whatever. You know, it's late. She didn't really want to be there. Well, she said she had ale, so I'm gonna go get some ale from her. I'll okay. join you. I'm following suit. And oh, sorry, I'm already down there. Oh, okay. So you just, <laughs> you just yeah. Well, oh, did you never okay. come up? So as you guys get down, I never, there, I never came up. Was, oh, okay. So <laughs> you, you just you just put put yourself at a table and just sat there. Um, so you're already one drink in. Um, the second round shows up as everyone else comes down for you, and then their their drinks show up. Um, it's it's an ale. It's nothing. Nothing amazing. Um, you know, it's not the best you've ever had, but it's it's alcohol and it it warms your body because you are cold. It's very cold. Now we're um, warm bodies. Mm. <laughs> um so as as uh, she brings out the, the ale, she uh, uh the innkeeper looks at you guys and says, Oh, I have something else. Let me go get it for you real quick. And uh runs runs in the back room and comes out with a smaller chest um a, a little little wooden chest that um is locked and sealed i'm gonna check the chest for traps <laughs> okay well she's still holding it so yes if you want to run still holding it go ahead <laughs> um, that is a 19 is that chest Creepily trapped? inspecting it as as she walks. <laughs> lemon lemon runs up, probably comes up to what her waist maybe, and About like her waist, yeah. just slowly starts tinkering with the bottom. Like, all right, all right, hold hold your horses, hold your horses. And, and she looks, she's like, all right, get off, and then sets the chest down on the table and goes, "This was sent ahead of you guys from your guild. This is for you." Um, and I don't know what's in it because they locked it and they set this key and said, don't open it until, until they get there. So here's your key. Uh, oh wait, I just completely messed on her voice. Damn it. <laughs> um, all right, here's your key. Um, you know, if you need me, let us know. My girls are here to help you out. We have some, we have a menu and she puts down a little menu in front of you. Just let us know what you'd like to eat and we'll make sure we make it for you. Are you sure you didn't open it? Yes, I'm 100% sure. I don't, I don't care what, like, I'm here my, and, and making sure that the villagers don't act up. And I forgot the accent again. Damn it. Oh, well, I'll get there. Um, it's okay. Mine's going to change over and over again, so I wouldn't hey, worry about it. It's an ever-morphine thing. <laughs> yes. So she walks off, um, and one of the serving girls comes out with um, a, a loaf of bread and sets it on the table for you guys as well. So you now have ale bed and a small chest and a key. I opened the chest. Okay. I was going to say something tells me that we probably shouldn't open the chest in the middle of the public. I, I, I already checked for traps. I think we're all right. I'm already. Yeah, open. There are three. Good. There are three. Actually, people. I can go. I can go play some music and distract everybody here while you guys open it up. <laughs> go do that. OK, so uh, go ahead and give me one. a performance check. Okie dokie. Old McDonald, if you don't mind. <laughs> Ooh. Um, 23. Damn. All right. Um, the three people are absolutely raptured. The three people? It's my biggest crowd. He's going to teach this town how to dance. <laughs> he is, and they are loving it. Um, what, what, uh, stylistic, um, 
musical <laughs> amazingness are you bringing to the table for this? For this I'm group? playing Footloose. <laughs> Footloose. <laughs> Footloose. A town that can't Footloose. <laughs> okay, so uh, <laughs> you're up there rocking out. Like um, Col- Colvin's up there just rocking out Footloose, like just shredding it. And those three people and the barmaids and the innkeeper come in and are just fucking floored <laughs> by how awesome this song is. They've never heard anything like it. All right. So while that's Your going on, kids everyone is completely it. enraptured by the bard. I totally am thinking about Back to the Future. Which yeah. Is <laughs> Johnny B. Good. Johnny Listen B. Good. to this. <laughs> you need a new, new fresh sound. Like, yeah. So, Chuck, Chuck, it's your cousin, your cousin Marvin Barry. <laughs> cousin Marvin. Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> so, you open the chest, Brockmar, right? Yep. And um, inside the chest is a note that says, "Here is everything you need uh, for for your journey and for your adventure." Can I read? I don't know. Can you? <laughs> you are. I have a six intelligence, so I'm not Rock sure Mark. that I can actually read. Rock Somebody Mark. else to read take that. the note, please. <laughs> can Rock I Mark. read? Can you actually read? Lemon, Lemon kind of edges yeah. his way in there. Hey, 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 big guy, come here. Let, let, let me see this. Let me see what it has to say. So, Damn. Brock Mark, basically what you notice is 200 gold pieces. Eight health I take potions, those. <laughs> two maps. And Hold on, I've got to write this down. Slow down. Okay, sorry. 200 gold pieces. Mm-hmm. Eight health potions. Mm-hmm. Two A maps. maps of Harvest Home. So one map of Harvest Home. And one map of Rothfang Keep. And... The pic- a picture, a hand-drawn picture of the Ifrit bottle. So you kind of know what you're looking for. I take the picture of the hand-drawn... Um, I take the hand-drawn picture of the Ifrit bottle, and I put it in my pocket. Okay, are you doing this covertly so no one in the party sees you? or are nope, you doing I'm this- doing it in front of everyone. Okay, so I everyone, you see him see take this. the picture... And put it into his pocket. That's a we good idea, man. Safe keeping. <laughs> cool. So that is what's in the chest. Now, Lemon, because Brockmar can't read. Yes. I'm assuming you could read Orc Scribble. Uh, Lemon right? can, has a plus one intelligence, so I'm assuming that is enough to read. That is, I would even say a zero is enough to read. <laughs> okay. But, um, because yeah, that's average. <laughs> He can he can recognize things, signs like men. <laughs> shit on that, this paper. That looks like a pattern. Hmm. Yes. Hmm. Indubitably. Um. <laughs> but uh, so yes, lemon. Quite. There's a little note inside of it, and it says, "Here's here's enough to keep uh, to keep you guys tied over." Included is a picture of the Ifrit bottle, a map of Rothfang Keep. And a map of Harvest Home. And an advance on your pay. All right. Uh, Lemon conveys the message and says, like, uh, you know, boss man said I had a couple of bucks for us. That's, uh, that's real nice of him. Sweet. Um, Colin, or I should say Colton, you, uh, you, you finished up with Footloose. You, you oh, you I had, rock out I'm with another an encore. One? I don't know what you're oh, talking you're about. You're going for an encore? Dude, they, they <laughs> love it. And actually, because of the beautiful, amazing music, uh, two more villagers who heard it uh, from the outside have, have now come into the inn and are, are enraptured by you. They're both male, by the way. Just, you know. Oh, jeez. Yeah. He's starting to draw attention. I don't know if I like this. Hey, be happy for him. This is the biggest crowd I think he's ever played. <laughs> it's the most, it That's is. It's I'm the biggest about. audience I've ever had. Give me another <laughs> performance check. Okay. <laughs> 20. 20. Okay. Not a natural 20. 
that's okay. It's still better than them. Uh, they're commoners. They're really just kind of there. Um, let's see. To make make it better, let me uh, let me give you their stat for excitedness about this performance. Excited. <laughs> They're fucking stoked. On a scale of one to Zeppelin, how excited are they? Um, (laughs) They're Zeppelin, ACDC. I'm really lighting this up. Yeah, no, you're just, you are rolling. And everyone, I mean, they're commoners. They're at straight zero across the board. So, (laughs) yeah. Um, They don't get out much. They really don't. They really don't. They're they're farmers. Yeah. Uh, cultured swine. <laughs> I uh, I divvy up the gold pieces and the potions into four, so we each okay. get fifty gold pieces and two potions. Mm-hmm. So everyone take uh, fifty gold pieces and uh, potions. The cool the 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 cool thing about this is health potions are think of them as like tonics. They they bring you back up to health. Um, they're not magical. They're more herb based. Um, so if your leg is broken, a potion ain't gonna fix it. A potion's gonna ease your pain. You are probably gonna have to set your leg. But then after you have the potion, you're like, I don't care. I'm ten thousand miles. Sorry, I'm I love you pieces. guys. You guys are the best. <laughs> how, how many gold pieces? Fifty. Fifty. Jeez. Well, you gotta remember, you guys are a part of the largest guild, and. Rich people love magic items. They use them as a status. So they pay heavy amounts of gold. Because I think that's how you measure gold, right? Is heavy? Yes. Yeah. I got to step out for a second. I got to blame this. Oh, well, that's not good. I know. I was rocking it too hard. I'm so sorry. Yeah, dude, Colin, you got to, you got to, you got to tone that down. Like, I know, I know this is. I'll force a fumble here. Force a fumble. <laughs> so, um, we'll just say that uh, um, Zalanus just that had to step out for a bit. Um, so, what are you guys doing in the meantime while uh, Colvin's just shredding on what instrument do you have? <laughs> it's a lute. The lute. <laughs> it's a lute. Somehow it sounds a lot better than a lute, but. So, whatever. Brockmar, it is, it works. Lemon, what are, you, what are you guys up to? I'm just drinking. Okay. Yeah, I'm uh, um, I'm sipping on my on my booze and uh, just kind of tapping along, enjoying the music. Okay. Um, bro- DC four. So go ahead and roll a D four, and okay. uh, that's how many drinks you've had. A D four. Yep. One. Well, you really aren't slamming them that hard. No. You might think you are, but you know we'll get there. With your intelligence. Cool. Um, there, I just was making sure they're doing it. And so, uh, Lemon and Brockmar, while Colvin is shredding on his loot. Um, the night passes. Uh, a few more, a few more uh, farmers trickle in and out. One guy comes in, and you can tell he's kind of like a town guard. He's got um, a leather, like, leather armor, like a leather jerkin, basically. Um, a spear and a really, really rusty um, metal conical hat. Um, but he, he just, he waves at the, at the innkeeper. She smiles and waves at him and then over with his, um, with his ale and uh, hands, him, hands him his ale and, and a little bit of food. Uh, go ahead, everyone, and again, roll a DC, uh, roll a D4. That's a three. Three. Two. Am I drinking too? Yo, yeah, dude. Okay. Unless so, you don't want to. I mean, that's... Oh, no, I was, I was just making sure that it wasn't interfering with the playing or anything like that. Not yet. Okay. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> so, um... Fair lemon, enough. <laughs> you, you've had three lemon? Yes. Okay, so um, go ahead and roll uh, just a, a base constitution check for me. You need a, uh, uh, that's a 14. Okay, you, you're in chunk. You're not like hammered. 
Hey, the, yeah, what's what's the one song you know that she played when we were when we were on the cart back? I like that song. Yeah. <laughs> so you you're feeling good. Um you you're little, so three drinks is, is a decent amount. Um Jerry uh, uh well Bro sorry, Brockmar, you've had four now total. Go ahead mm -hmm. and roll a constitution check as well. Constitution. Yours is gonna be a lot lower because you're a bigger person. So where's my that is 22. Yeah, okay, you're fine. Like, <laughs> you're, you're, you're able to drink it like... You don't feel anything. Um, I more L. Zolanis, go ahead and give me a, uh, uh, a constitution check as well. You, you said two? Yeah. Okay. 21. You are fine as well. No issues. And last Get but not least, my half pine. Colvin. I rolled a How six. How many did you have? Six. You had six? How'd you roll a six? Did you roll a oh, six? We're rolling a D4. D4. A D4. Yeah, yeah, D4. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and then a con check. I, I, I rolled a D4 and I still got a six. <laughs> well, the bard is yeah. wrong. Bard is <laughs> fucked up. Go home, bard. You're drunk three. <laughs> okay, so go ahead and give me a constitution. And you're a half elf, so again, you're a little bit bigger. So three isn't a huge, huge thing. Uh, sorry. So D twenty plus your con modifier. Yeah. Uh, nine. Oh damn! You're drunk. Yeah. You're drunk. You you had to get a ten. Yeah. Yeah, but you're not like. Too I like, drunk to where you can't play. You're feeling good. You're a little Halo loose, drunk. So you... Oh, not Halo drunk, but <laughs> oh. yes, Halo drunk. Uh, <laughs> not where we say team, team, like ten thousand times team. Let's go team. team, team I think team. I think that was a little more than than normal Halo drunk. Okay, <laughs> I'm, yeah. I'm a little more than Halo drunk. I'm beyond the point where I'm at my peak. <laughs> He's Robert yeah, Plant drunk, where he can't talk, but he can still play. Okay. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll give him a constant tempo. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, um, it, it's now. It's probably about midnight. Um, what would you guys? People are starting to leave. Um, the serving girls have gone uh, back to their house uh, to go to sleep, and you just have the innkeeper with. Um, her little daughter, who is now falling asleep in the corner by the fireplace. Uh, and is she still at the bar? Is she like cleaning up? And she's kind of all around cleaning up, making sure the food is uh, taken care. Of. Call for more ale. She brings more ale, but it, I mean, it's just you guys and one, um, one villager who is passed out, drunk. He was so. He was so filled with ecstasy and love and life. He got <laughs> it because of Colvin's just amazing performances. So he got he got a little shammered. I mean, as you do, just as you bit. do. I mean, you're at a concert. This she's shredding it. All right. Yeah, so I he's passed out in the corner, is uh, in a different corner, uh, kind of slumped down. Lemons. Uh... Is there like charcoal somewhere? I mean, yeah, you, you can get like a pen or. or... Okay, yeah. I'm gonna draw a dick on the guy's face. <laughs> of course you are. <laughs> okay, go ahead and roll a. Um, rules are rules. A stealth. <laughs> Let's see. That is a twenty total. <laughs> <laughs> you you successfully draw a dick on. Um. Or going into his mouth, or yeah, I don't know. You're the artist. You I stylist. Just, I draw it on his cheek, going into his mouth. And Perfect. Then I'm just like, I oh, he, look. He's got a uh, dick on his face. <laughs> what the <a> hell? <laughs> so at this point, um, he goes <clears throat> and then falls back asleep. So I jump back. You successfully draw a dick on his cheek. <laughs> okay. Without any issues. <laughs> um, Progress. Woohoo! Uh, <laughs> the big guy did a sneaky check. Um, <laughs> cool. Um, um, so, 
Yeah. Lemon's feeling friendly, uh, so he's going to kind of wander up to the bar and uh, talk to the barkeep and say, Hey, uh, th- thanks for all the drinks tonight. I-, I don't think I ever caught your name. Oh, that's okay. No one, no guests usually ask my name until like the next third or fourth night, but my name is Halter, Mrs. Halter. Miss Halter, it's nice to meet you. Uh, so uh, we're, we're, we're pretty new to this area. Um, we, we have to head over to, uh, what, what, what's that place called? It's, uh, Rothfang Keep. Do, uh, do you, do you have any rumors about the area that you could, uh, you could key us into? Oh, oh, there are so many rumors about Rothfang. It's, it's just funny. No one actually knows, um, no one knows too much about it. There are just way too many rumors, uh, that have been floating around. No one, no one's been up there, um, at least from our village in the last, uh, probably in the last 10 years. Um, it, it used to be run by the dwarves and, you know, tons of money came out. Like I, I was just when, when they, uh, when they left. So I don't remember too much, but it, it is, uh, it, it was taken over by goblins, but, uh, it, you know, again, that's just a rumor. We don't actually know anything. Uh, Lemon winces noticeably when she mentions goblins. Oh, uh, I'm, I'm sorry. Do yeah, you, there's you little, don't... little, giving little people bad name. Yeah, no, <laughs> no, I, I, I understand, you know, but trust me, you're not like those goblins. You don't come in here raiding, killing and plundering, do you? That's, uh, not, not, not that we're aware of. Uh, okay. See. But, uh, well, I, I appreciate it. I mean, that's, that's more than we had to go on. So, uh, thank, thank you, thank you, thank you very much, ma'am. Zelanus has been listening in on to this. Okay, give and me also, a, uh, Give me a, um, hang on, I gotta find the check. Perception? Perception. Wait, is it perception? Yeah, I would imagine. Yeah, give me a perception. Fifteen. Okay, yeah, you, you hear it. Because they, they were, they were, I mean, it wasn't quiet, but they weren't, like, in the corner whispering. I walk up. What do you mean no one in this town? Has actually been up there. Has someone else been up there from a different town? Oh, we we've had the you know the adventurers come. They come in and they they want to seek gold and riches, but they always come back empty. They don't really understand what's going on up there. Um, you know they they've never reported anything out of the ordinary. I mean, there was this one this one guy who who reported that there was hordes of goblins and orcs and all this stuff and they had to fight their way out and none of them got hurt or anything and obviously we all knew it was a lie because you know he didn't actually say anything worth us listening to because if there were hordes of goblins we would have known about it yeah keep it keep it honest i i I like her Well, uh, you know, is there is there anything else I can do for you guys? I mean, we're just so we're just so happy to have people come to the Slaughter Jester. It's a great, you know, it's it's been here since since the town started, and you know, we we love having people come in. Yeah, uh, who 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 was the jester who died? He tries to whisper, but clearly not whispering at all. Well, drunk whisper. That's that's the funny thing about this. Um, no one actually knows. Um, it's been called the Slaughter Jester, um, and, and I mean, it's, there's a legend around it, and apparently it was this, this jester who came in and started casting fire, and this is when the villagers didn't really understand magic, uh, and, and obviously before, you know, before the, the bad time of no magic in this world, um, the jester came in and started casting magic, and they didn't understand it, so they killed him uh, because they thought he was a witch. And uh, th- I mean, that's just a rumor. I mean, that, that from what I understand, it's been this for hundreds of years. That's a really crappy way to die. It sounds well, sounds par for the course. Yeah, you, you can't know, just go in. You can't, you can't just go and burn in somebody's town. Down. That's just not right. Yeah, no one really I've knows, and it's before. such a great. You know, we, we, it's been in my family for my my father and mother had this before me, and I've had this. Uh, you know, and their father, their my grandparents, and their parents, and so on and so on. It's been in my family for generations. Thank you for your time. Yeah. You've been very hospitable. Here's a tip. I look for a gold piece. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, you know, your guild has been great, and they're taking 
taking care of me as well. So you guys don't have to worry about anything while you're um, But just let me know if you need anything else. Uh, my room is down here uh, behind the kitchen. And I just lost the accent. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just over there time. drawing more dicks. Well, <laughs> I don't trust her. I'm, I'm trying to do like an Irish accent. And I keep like going into like a more of a British. And it's like, okay, whatever. Um, cool. So it is, it is now midnight. Um, she she kind of ushers you guys upstairs uh, to get into your beds. Um, Does Brockmar she... carry lemon upstairs? I mean, lemon, you can keep drinking if you want. You're drunk. You're not stammery drunk. Think of like, um, you're feeling good. You're, you're, you're a little more outgoing. You got a little bit of liquid courage. You might do something dumb, but nothing to the point of like. Can I roll for dumb? Listen, okay, listen, <laughs> Lin- Linda, listen. No, um, <laughs> you, yeah. I mean, if you want to roll for dumb, uh, give me a d twenty. We'll give you a, a DC ten check on it, so ten or better. That's fifteen. Yeah, you don't do anything dumb. Yay! Uh, no, then I, I'm going to uh, go upstairs and retire. Uh, I, I will set up a a small bed underneath the bottom bunk of one of the beds and curl up and go to sleep. Okay. I climb up on a top bunk. <laughs> and the bed bends. Okay. The bed does <laughs> bend. Uh, <laughs> it, I mean, you're big, right? Like you're what? 200, three, 250, 300 pounds, something like that. Uh, pure muscle. I have a weight. I am 6'10". And I actually don't have a weight. Jesus Christ. I, I did like not know you were pounds. 10. Yeah, I'm you're well gonna... over 200 pounds. Oh, you're gonna break you, you, yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. 6'1 and I'm 200 pounds. So yes, yes I'm so... going to say, I'm going to say, yes, you are well over 200 pounds. Please God tell me he didn't lay on the bunk that I'm underneath. <laughs> um. Okay. Really so as you walk into the room, I'm, I'm going to make you guys role play this one out. As there are two bunks, one to the left, one to the right. Um, Lemon, which one did you pick? I picked the one on the left. Okay. Well, I was going to say I take the one on the right. Okay. So as of now, you, he is not under your, uh, you're not under the giant half orc who is uh, on the top bunk <laughs> with his feet hanging out. Let's just, yeah. let's just picture this. Okay. So it's a standard, like, twin straw mattress as someone who who is six one my feet do hang off of a twin (laughs) so i'm gonna say like you are like your knees are bent over the bed so you look at you um uh, you know people who walk in see you and they just see your legs hanging off this edge of the bed I'm already like, means a oh, good portion of his weight is on his on the frame instead of <laughs> underneath the mattress. Right, right. Um, okay, good. The bed holds. Oh, good. <laughs> the bed holds. Does not break. Um, uh, and and uh, uh, Colvin, after your amazing performances, which bed are you choosing? We're both top bunks taken. N- uh, only the one on the right. I'm taking the one on the left. Okay. And now, um, Zelanis, you said you were sleeping on the floor? I don't sleep. I put myself into a trance. So oh, I yeah. sit cross legged on the floor, facing the door. Bo okay. In front of me. Okay. Actually, no, bow on me. Bow on you? Like on your lap? Yes. Cool. Um, Beyond, yeah. Everyone, go ahead and give me a, uh, just a D20. Just give me a d20 roll, real quick. It's a 13. Ah. I can't read that because it fell down. Hold on. I'll use my other d20 in the meantime. Uh, it's a 14. Roll. It's a 14. gross roll. Five. Just d20? Yeah. That's a yeah, just a d20. No, no modifiers. Straight 20. That's a six. Okay, so Rockmar and Colvin, you guys are passed the fuck out. <laughs> like, you are, in all intents and purposes, dead to the world. That's a uh, dunsky. You, you are in such a deep sleep. IRL, my friend. I Trust me, I'm, I'm the same way at night sometimes. Um, you guys are in such a deep sleep that you uh, do not hear a really loud commotion outside in the town square. 
Lemon and Zelanis, you guys hear a commotion. You don't actually know what it is, but you hear something. Is there a window in the room? There is, but it faces the back courtyard. So not the towards stables. the center. Of not the... towards the center. So it is up to you guys what you would like to do. Uh, you can go investigate, or you can uh, and just ignore it. Uh, Lemon's gonna shoot up out of his uh, drunken slumber. <laughs> what? What? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Hello? Hello? I will stand up calmly. Move to the door and open it slowly. Hey, okay. where, where, where are you going? Where are you going? Don't go down there. There's things down there. I don't have to get near it to see it. I'm a drow, remember? Uh, Lemon face palms and follows him. Okay. Go ahead, both of you, and roll stealth checks. Actually, yeah, yeah, okay. Now that I think about it, maybe I should just get on top of the roof. That's 16. Stealth. That's what it was. 14. Plus your modifier? 14. Okay, cool. Um, (laughs) So you guys um, sneak downstairs very quietly um, because you were upstairs uh, in your room. And you're in now the main the main kind of hallway, the main or hallway I'm talking about. You're in the main foyer of the place where you guys, where you guys, I know it's beautiful. There's a small Fancy. chandelier. Uh, servants and butlers are there. No, um, uh, <laughs> it, you're in the, um, you're in the main room uh, downstairs and outside a win- outside the main window, the door, the door is wide open um, out to the courtyard. And you guys can see uh, several torches and people uh, people standing around with like pitchforks and uh, like shoddy spears. And I think there's like a rusty sword or two, you know, just just basic farmer drab weapons. And they're all they're all huddled around. Um, at, uh, kind of the main the main area facing away from the inn so you guys can see that they're they're not looking at the inn going oh fuck you people in the inn they're 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 clearly distracted by something else okay uh so the farmers aren't trying to break into the inn is what we're getting from this scene okay yes uh lemon's going to Quickly try to run back upstairs and wake the others. Okay. Um, um, if I were to climb up to the top of the roof, would I be able to get a better view of what's going on? Yes. Point. But okay. to climb up to the top of the roof, you will have to exit the building and then climb up the side. Of course i can't go through the roof okay well i'm just i want so you're going out the front door where everyone no. is no i'm going to go back up to our room climb out that window and then on top of the roof okay so you're going to climb out the window and you're going to go up the top while you're doing this uh let me go <laughs> roll a straight check to see if you can make <laughs> those two up god damn it <laughs> i'm gonna take you know, you're not punching punching them, but you're, you got to wake them up. And then you guys want you to roll an opposing strength check. Or no, Suck bath. It's an oppo- opposing uh, DC Drunk check. Uh, that's, yeah. that's an 11. Okay, so you guys need to uh, basically beat an 11 to stay asleep with no modifiers. That's a 17. <laughs> 12. That's a, come so, on, get up, get up, you, you <laughs> big sex. <sighs> Come on! I, so let, I let hand him an arrow. I just picture him like slapping my foot. Because like, <laughs> that's about all he can reach. Yeah. He's like, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> I hand Lemon an arrow and go, hey, maybe if you stab him, they'll wake up. I, I look up okay. at him very confused. 
and good. hand back the arrow slowly. <laughs> okay, I was going to give you a plus five on your next roll if you use the arrow, but that's fine. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm, all right. Uh, okay, how... so you take five minutes. I, I just wanted to see if okay. you could actually be strong enough. You, get, you take about five minutes to get them up, and it, it is... It's ridiculous. You're, you're sitting there smacking them, screaming, like just trying to get them up. It takes about maybe not five minutes. It's a long time. Let's do about 30 seconds to a minute um, of you going ah, and hitting them, <laughs> trying to get them to wake up. See, Swing this is the reason I wanted to buy the bell in the last town we were in. God damn it. <laughs> that <laughs> bell sounded awful. <laughs> Well, oh, you're on the roof already. Right. Every time you um, ring it. Give me, uh, so uh, Zolanis, give me an athletics check. What did did he? Did you? They manage to wake us up. Yes, this but while than... while he's trying to wake you up, uh, Zolanis said he was going to be climbing to the roof. So it's kind of happening simultaneous. Nineteen. Mostly. Okay, you have no issue scaling the roof, uh, or scaling the win- out the window, up the wall, onto the roof. Um. Go ahead and so you're at the top of the roof and you look out above, uh, beyond the t- As a drow, don't you naturally, aren't you hidden by shadows? Uh, I don't know if it really says anything like that, but considering my dark skin, yes, I think I would be. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say the, these guys are not focused on you on the roof. I'm, I'm just looking up Elf real quick while we're, while we're doing this. Um, so you notice that there's about 15 villagers around, um, men and women, with a shoddy assortment of weapons, crude clubs, torches, um, you know, a few uh, like scythes, you know, from the field, and um, they're all they're all arguing about something. And there's there's a body lying in the middle of the square. And they're all surrounding it um, to the point where you you cannot see Zalanus. You cannot see the body. You can see that there is a body, but you have no idea of what kind of like what what's going on with it. Type thing. Even with superior dark vision, I can see 120 feet. Even with superior dark vision, they're still blocking you, so you can't really see through people with dark vision. As cool Fair as enough. that would be, <laughs> it would be cool if you did. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> 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 cool um, um so, i go back into the room okay at this point in time everyone is, um obviously uh colvin and brockmar are very groggy they don't really know what's going on they're like uh, but uh, let's just I, what oh, no. is it? i'm gonna i'm gonna take my Lord water skin and I'm going to splash Brockmar in the face. Hey, big guy, wake up. Snap, snap. And I'm going to slap what the, the fuck? other. <laughs> what the hell's going on here? I need you. Oh. I need you sharp, big guy. I need you sharp. I slapped the other one awake. Okay. Everyone awake. is now awake. There's a dead body out in the square. You want to see a what? dead body? Is it mine? <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure if the it's villagers it's killed him. Oh, enough, thank God. They are wielding a lot of weapons. But there is a dead body that they're huddled around. Is that okay. all you saw? I'm just trying to That's take it all I can see. We're blocking the rest of everything. Remember, Jaren, your, your processing speed for your brain is about a minus four. Yeah, I'm so, just blankly, on like, top of what it normally is. And blinking, and I'm just like, I'm, I'm not comprehending what's going on. All right, what are, what, what are we going to do about it? My terrible accent that I'm just coming up with as I go. <laughs> <laughs> rubble, rubble, rubble. <laughs> Did I ever tell you you have a really good voice? I mean, I'm, I, I'm, I'm small enough here. If you guys let me, uh, let me throw my cloak on, I can try to sneak into that mob and see what's going on. They'll just think I'm some Listen sort of kid. Half. Nobody's going to hurt me. Listen to Half Pine thinking he can be stealthy. <laughs> oh, sir. You <laughs> underestimate me. That was a joke. Laugh. Would you prefer us to overestimate you? Yeah, don't quit your day job. Over, over. I'm a, I'm a musician. Uh, I'm not a comedian. <laughs> All right. That time has a good point. 
Let me just Might sneak in there really quick. Stuff. I'll do a little bit of recon, you know, do my thing. And then I'll come back and let you guys know what the deal is. I like this idea. So I'm sneaking in. <laughs> what? So no. Wait, no, no, <laughs> no, 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 you, you're staying here, and I, I mentioned to the ground. I am going to sneak out there, see what's going on, and then come back to you. Sun's getting real low. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna. I guess I'm gonna. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna start trading you like Hulk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna throw on my hood, um, okay. and I'm going to because the door is wide open. You said right. The door is wide open, um, and again, and no one's really focused on the end. They're just they're all surrounding this body. Oh yeah, this will be no problem. So yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna sneak kind of into the crowd, try to get close enough to the body that I can kind of make stuff out, um, okay. and and a, listen to see. All right, give me a stealth check. Oh, that is a twenty six, friend. That was a crit, natural wow. twenty. They got a two. All the villagers got a two. <laughs> they were really, they're really focused on this body, but. I so, am the knight. <laughs> <laughs> Where is she? Oh. <laughs> this mask is maddening. Where did she I go? Did, I put my tongue through this. Where did the half I go? I don't see him. <laughs> He's gone. He just whoosh, vanished. Cloak of invisibility from Harry Potter. Off he goes. Um, he might where'd you go? <laughs> That's actually a goblin voice. Um, it's going to be fun. Um, but <laughs> I, I'll do it later. Um, you guys, so Lemon, you're out there, and and this is obviously for Lemon only. You guys are listening, but it's, it's, we don't it's, really know what's going on. You have no I'm idea. Just staring out the window, <laughs> just longingly. <laughs> Where the hell did he go? My prince will come. All yeah, around me are familiar <laughs> faces. <laughs> Jesus. I'm not uh, even being okay. healthy. I'm just blankly staring out the window with my great axe over my shoulder. Okay. He's so, ready to go. You, um, Lemon, what you see is a guardsman. Um, very same, very same uh, dress as the one that came in. Not the same one that came into the inn. Uh, but someone who probably was part of the Night's Watch or the, the Town Watch. The Night's Watch? Not the Night's Watch, obviously. They're <laughs> yes. guarding the wall to make sure the White Walkers don't come through. So they're busy. I am not familiar <laughs> with what's going on. <laughs> Thank God. Um, but It's going to take a while to get caught up. I'm sorry. That's okay. Um, so what, what we're going to do... Uh, so roll a perception check real fast to see if uh, you can notice a body because the body is de I mean, dead dead guardsman with arrows but go ahead and give me a perception boop, 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 boop. or investigation actually is there an investigation check uh dude that's there is yes okay investigation, an investigation then is a 14 okay so you can see that it, it's actually been hit with a arrow hit with what um arrows okay Six of them. And they're really crudely made. They have a very, very resounding resemblance of goblin arrows. Um, I'm, I'm going to assume that they are goblin arrows. That is probably a very good <laughs> assumption. Okay. <laughs> 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 um, all right and do um, do i hear any anything from the villagers are they yeah yeah they're 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 arguing um they're arguing about what to do because they haven't had this happen in a very long time um goblins haven't come down from the mountains um to raid in a in a really long time probably about 20 25 years something around there um so they're trying to organize um you know, parties to to set up watch around the town. They're trying to organize quick defenses because they don't they don't know where it came from. Um, they found his body in the square line like this. So that's kind of something that you've gathered from listening um, that the body was there in the center of the square. Okay. Do I see any tiny footprints around the body? With an investigation check of fourteen. Yes. You do not. Okay. Um. Everyone else had all the villagers. Have 
or touching it, doing a few things. So if there were tracks, you'd have to get probably a nat 20. They fucked up my crime scene. They did. (laughs) All right. uh, Then I'm just, I'm not even really going to be stealthy at this point. I'm just going to run back to the end because like, yeah. um, And, and I'm going to uh, spill the beans to everybody and be like, Hey, I, I think we got a goblin problem. What kind of goblin problem, buddy? The kind uh, that has arrows. Oh, the That's good really kind. Bad goblin problem. I don't know if I like that. Well, we were talking to the barkeep earlier, and she was saying that the keep that we are headed to tomorrow has a bunch of goblins that are hanging out there at the moment. So, uh, from what I could tell from the villagers, they haven't been down in a while. So I wonder if it has anything to do with why we're being sent up there. Either way, I don't know if if we should wait until morning or should we just take off now? It also means that if there's some down here, there are less up there right now. I like the way you think. Freaking cold. So do we get to go back to bed? (laughs) (laughs) That is up to you guys. If you want to go back to bed or not. (laughs) Um. Yeah, I, I. Lemon, lemon. I, I, I <laughs> <You> <laughs> go now. <laughs> I say, guys, I say, we wait gonna make morning. me do stuff. So as okay, as you so guys tired. are talking, as you guys are talking about the goblin, um, the the innkeeper comes rushing up, and she's like, "Oh, oh, good, you guys are awake. Um, we've had a very terrible accident, and and I, I know you guys are adventurers, and we really." Uh, we'd really like your guys' help here. Um, something terrible has happened, and uh, one of our guardsmen was killed. We don't. We we think it could be goblins, but we're not sure. Um, would you guys mind running down and 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 coming to take a look at, at everything and and maybe helping us organize defenses? Because you you guys have 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 been in a fight before, right? I mean, and, and she's got she's got a meat cleaver in her hand. Like that's the only thing she has. <laughs> And she's kind of waving it around wildly because she's terrified. She's like, I've, I've never had to fight anyone except to kick them out of my bar. It's, I mean, and even then, I, I already know everyone, so I just send them home. Like, it's, it's not really a big deal. But, uh, yeah, if you wouldn't mind, I, we would gladly give you guys a little bit of extra extra pay if you could help us out. I put my hand on her shoulder and go, ma'am, calm down. She turns wildly and, and, and narrowly misses you. With her cleaver. And she's like, oh, I'm, sorry, I'm so sorry. All right. I'll, I'll breathe a little bit. Um, let me let me go get you guys some food. I think that's that's about all I can do right now. And she, she runs down to the kitchen before you can say anything else. <laughs> uh, so I guess we're not going back to bed. Okay. Well, let me let me get my stuff. Okay. Uh, so you guys get ready. Uh, probably takes about two two minutes, three minutes to get your stuff on. I'm assuming you took off all your armor, and, and if you guys had armor, I mean, I, I, I just really have my armor, robe. I'm so good to go already. I'm fully dressed, and I'm I was here. naked. <laughs> <laughs> naked I mean, after that, after that great performance, and it, it, the clothes just came off. Yeah. I can't. I, it's it's it happens. It's a natural response yeah. to a killer performance, right? Yes. It is just poof, like Bruce Almighty status of just <laughs> yeah. the clothes just fall off. <laughs> Cool. Um, yeah, so you guys get ready and uh, go ahead and head down to the main room. And um, waiting for you is uh, a full chicken. It's a little bit cold because you can tell she just probably grabbed it out of the, not really ice chest, but just the way where they store food. Um, the cold, dry chicken, I guess, because it would just go bad if it was cooked and left out. Um, and and uh, four, four mugs of ale real quick. Uh, right there for you guys to kind of get you livened up. Look. All right. Um, so you're in you're in the main room right now. Well, what would you like to do? I'm actually going to take my drink and put it in a flask. Okay. I just chug my drink and then I'm going to cook my chicken over the fire. So you're going to spend... I took ten... one look at him and I just said, oh yeah, and I tried to chug mine, but I got halfway through and started coughing. <laughs> Choking lemon looks. Up. Lemon <laughs> looks at the rest of the party, concerned about their alcoholism yeah. before a battle. Um, <laughs> hey, lemon, if, kid, okay, lemon, you should drink up. This could be the last drink you ever have. Uh, you, you know, if if it's go- if a goblin kills me, then I didn't deserve another drink. 
and I spit <laughs> on the floor. I'll take yours then. <laughs> is the guy with the dicks on his faces? Wait, wait, yeah, wait. He's, he's gone. gone. He's gone. Um, he got he got sent home. He's not the one that's dead, right? No, no, no okay. he's not. That was uh, the guard the from earlier, not the not oh, okay. dick guy. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, <laughs> actually, it was a different guard. The guard from earlier just came in, but. Um, oh thank he, god he he was, i really liked him I was yeah. that he, <laughs> nah, he was i mean guard one was great <laughs> guard one was yeah i remember all those times with guard one that we had uh <laughs> not, not guard not two. Credit guard rolls, two was he's dick. fine he, he's in the credits he's good um it was vince vaughn actually <laughs> you never know <laughs> Okay, <laughs> so the Vince Vaughn guard was not the dead guard. That one is Owen Wilson. No. Um, <laughs> oh, wow. 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 Why wow. the hate, man? Wow. Why the hate? Oh, I don't know. I just said that. <laughs> if anyone, make it, um, oh, what's his bucket from Fast and Furious? Nicholas Cage. That's Wait, everything. That hold on, hold on one second. Everything you know what, about what you just was. said was wrong. I'm not sorry. I meant gone in 60 seconds. <laughs> you know what? You, Nick Nick Cage does a lot of work. Wow. I I, I can call him Nick. He's a friend of mine. Did, uh, uh, you hear about yeah. the uh, the role that Nick Cage turned down? Uh, you know, <laughs> yeah, neither did I. See, <laughs> see, this is this is what happens when the party drinks before <laughs> combat. I'm totally met gone in 60 seconds, not fast and furious. No, we got I, I got your reference. I knew exactly what you were talking about. Um, still great, great. Better, you mean uh, goblin 60 reference. seconds? Uh, <laughs> okay, all right. Okay, who, we're voting him off the party. <laughs> all right, you My guys are all fired. No. I'm going to start a new <laughs> cast. You forgot um, to so light the fire. No, the, the fire was just hold, you were just um, holding it over the, the I'm just holding it over the so cold fire. <laughs> about ten minutes after you guys get down, eat your food, drink your ale, uh, you walk outside and, and all of the villagers have kind of dispersed. Um, but you can see kind of throughout the town large pockets of people. And, and and by large I mean like five people with torches and they're a crewman of weapons. Oh, did y'all like the show? Ah, good. Everybody's here. Right. <laughs> so, waiting for you guys is is one guy is large portly man and two of the town. Is he warm? He is not warm. He's actually a little cold. <laughs> <laughs> God, you guys are never gonna let me forget. <laughs> and he's We're never little, letting that down. He's a little cold. Um, but yeah, he's been outside for a while. But it's, it's him and 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 two of the town guard, and and one of them is uh, the Vince that you guys uh, met at the inn. Um, he walks up to you and goes, "Oh, thank you, thank you so much for for coming to help. Uh, I know, I know this isn't why we've we've never had something like this happen before." Um, but, but sorry, I'm, I'm so sorry. My manners. Let me introduce myself. My name is Mayor McComas. I, I run this small town of Harvest Home, and and you know I, I'm just so thankful that you guys are here to help us out because, <laughs> frankly, and he points at the two guards over his shoulder. <laughs> these guys wouldn't know how to fight a goblin even if it was tied up in front of them. <laughs> Sir, a man is I dead. I don't. I'm just kidding. That was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I mean, yes, the death is the death is a tragedy. I mean, this was this is our night watchman. He he was he's been our night watchman for a while. His name was Jim Timothy. I, 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 yeah, I couldn't think of a name. Uh, I liked. Timothy. Yeah, we'll call him Timothy. Dead Timothy. <laughs> Dead, um, Dead Tim. Dead Tim. Dead Tim. <laughs> Dead Tim. So, you, you can call me Tim. Tim. Um, no, Tim. Um, but, so, he... Uh, I, we just... We, we don't know where it came from. His body was found right, uh, the mayor says, and, he, and he's very... You can tell he's starting to get flustered a, a little bit, and, and he's like, I, I would like... If you guys could, I would like you to head out towards uh, 
towards the lake, which is, um, if you guys refer to your beautiful map that I have drawn for you, it is the upper left-hand corner. Um, we, we we don't know what what they've done or, or, or what's going on. Uh, we don't have anyone to patrol that area. If you, if you guys could, um, could just go take a look around the lake and see see what happens because this is this is just such a tragedy, such a tragedy. Why specifically the lake? Well, um, uh, I've sent everyone else around uh, other locations. I just didn't have enough people to go out towards the lake to look around that way. Um, I've got everyone else patrolling their town, and obviously, you know, the villagers are scared, so they're going to be more around the houses and, and more protective of their homes than they are of, of investigating. That was way too oddly specific. I don't trust you. Go ahead and roll an insight check. Mm. 18. Okay. You, you know, you, you, can, you can tell he's not really telling you the whole truth. But that's Is about there a it. wall? Is there a wall close to us at all? I mean, there's the inn wall. I mean, you're in, you're in like a, a, a square, like a, a dirt kind of, I don't know, like 50 yards by 100 yards, kind of like a size. I put my hand on my bow as if I'm ready to draw it. You're not telling me everything. The two guards step in front and lower their spears directly at you. Hey, 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 everybody, I say as I... As I walk in between um, Zolanis and and the mayor and the guards, <laughs> well, well, we'll head on down to the lake. It's it's no problem at all. And I turn back around and look at him. If you can't handle a couple of goblins, why the hell are you here? Come on! And I start moving my way towards the lake. He's not telling us everything. That'll be fine. I follow okay. him. And... So you guys head down towards the um as you, as you're headed down um. You know, you're walking through town, and you notice that it's a fairly shabby town. Um, it's very well lit right now. Every door's uh, flung open. Fires are going. Uh, torches on the outside. Um, so it's very well lit right now um, because everyone is awake and scared. The only reason you guys didn't actually wake up is because they don't have, like, a large bell to kind of tell everyone, hey, something's going on. So You're it's all right. word of We should have gotten that bell. I see, yeah. that's what I was saying. Just a little ding, 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 ding. Yeah, everyone would have enough. heard that. Yeah, no, it would have been good. Mm. Um, so you guys walk down towards the lake. Um, if you're looking at your map, um, you, you go from the large building in the right, uh, that road to your right, because uh, you walked out facing the, the center, um, up the road to the right, and you're kind of on that longer stretch of road um right near the lake go ahead and roll um we're all together right uh-huh you're all together um give me a marching order real quick just so i kind of know how you're doing this uh I'll, following I'll, lemon i'll anchor i i lag behind okay. i have the best vision in the night so i'm probably leading it okay what time um, of the day is this it is probably about three four in the morning okay so it's still dark uh, it's still dark. So yeah. Uh, so tired. Zalanis, are you first? You said. Yeah. Okay. I'd probably the one in the front. So Zalanis, Lemon, Brockmar, Colvin is our marching order. Cool. Um, go ahead and everyone give me a active perception check. So roll a d twenty and add your perception. Ah. No. Uh. Is there fumbling? <laughs> you, if you get a one, you base your shoes. Twenty-one. Uh, that is ten. No, sorry, twenty-two. Yeah, I got, I got a six. Yeah, I'm still, I'm concerned about that bell that I missed out on. God damn it! Okay, well, I must still be. Here's sleepy. the great. Here's the Dude, great. Let it go. Me as a DM. <laughs> oh yeah, everybody, we forgot. We have Brian rolling against us. We're gonna be fine, everybody. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> well, you are, because my goblins, my gerblins, uh, adventures on reference, uh, 
they rolled a adventure one on their uh, adventure zone it's like a fucking phenomenal podcast that i highly recommend to listen to oh, and that is okay. not a shameless plug that is just <laughs> i was it's literally about to say shameless plug <laughs> no, no it is it is like probably my absolute favorite and critical role but those are great uh, aside give from us that, free stuff <laughs> <laughs> aside from that um yeah i rolled a one on my sneak check so do we see gerblins you do see goblins. Um, <laughs> even, even. Actually, Colvin, you don't because you oh, got come one, on. Right? You oh, got a one, on. right? <laughs> Ty goes to the runner. Uh, but you got a one plus one. That's two. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think. I don't think that's how that works. <laughs> no, you don't notice them. Um, so you three, Brockmar, Zolanis, and Lemon, you notice. I see nothing. Thinking they're sneaky. Right in the bushes by the lake, there are four goblins hiding, chittering away, giggling to themselves in goblin de gook. I, I don't actually know what goblin language is <laughs> I called. Think it's just goblin, goblin. goblin de gook. Goblin de gook. Yeah, yeah, no, you're right. That, Absolutely. That is so racist, man. I am, it, is, it is. It is. I'm offended on their behalf. I don't even hesitate. I'm just gonna go into a rage and charge. I was, I was gonna, I was gonna say. Lemon turns okay. quickly to Brockmar. Whoa, whoa. Brockmar, what's going on? Sick him. <laughs> yeah. Where'd you guys go? I just yell. I'm just like ah, and then I go charging in with my great axe. Do we have any flames with us? Like, are we carrying any torches? No, you did not. I was gonna turn my alcohol into a, a what is it? A flame? What? A, like a Molotov like a cocktail. Eagle Molotov cocktail. Oh well, yeah. There's no flame. I mean, you could take a try to light like something and nah, the fire would be over before then. I'm probably. Ready, so. so Brockmar, you get to go ahead and roll um, a sneak attack. Um, for the other two who have noticed, you also can roll sneak attacks as well. Um, yep. This will be like a surprise round of combat. Except for right. me. Okay. Except so, for Colvin because he's like la la la, and all of a sudden he hears and take off again. Um, the Where'd you go? <laughs> I'm pretty sure a 21 is gonna hit. Get off. It is definitely gonna hit. Now, as I said, there are four goblins who are hiding. Now, the the way the goblins are hiding is they have two branches each. Of, of this bush <laughs> and they're standing there holding the branch <laughs> in front of their faces. They can't see me. I can't see them. Because I rolled a one. That's because you're I facing a rock one. caboose. Exactly. I, uh, <laughs> I'm going for the closest one and I rolled a 20 to hit. So Okay. So we have a 21 and a 20. Um, um, let's... Woo! The 21 does 12 damage as well. Okay. So... Um, as I said, there are four goblins. They're kind of, you know, uh, but Brockmore, you're going for the closest one, which um, I'll make it the second to the left. Um, and then, Zolanis, you shoot an arrow straight through um, one of the goblins' bushes that he's hiding behind very well. Um, and right through the skull, just with the bow. Um, dead. Goblin kills over dead. Didn't even have time to utter. <laughs> Brockmar, go ahead. You said you got a 20? Uh, 20 to hit and 11 damage. Jesus. Okay, so you run up and you slice with your great axe a goblin. I'm going to let you choose. Do you go vertically or horizontal? Vertically. I'm just coming right down on it. Okay, so you slice a goblin into vertically. So he goes and falls apart. As the um, blood like splatters on me, I just want to like turn and glare at the other two. <laughs> um, and in lemon, it is head. your turn. You did you did also notice them? Uh, yeah, you that's so that's a natural twenty. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> um, lemon comes running in after after Brockmar like slices, and he jumps off of Brockmar's back with his staff and comes down on the third goblin. Four, 14 points of damage. That you, well, you have a bow, uh, bow staff, right? Yeah, I'm using my quarter staff. So you shatter 
his skull. Um, <laughs> You, you you do that beautiful acrobatic like whoa, over actually give me an acrobatic I want to see okay. if this would actually work. Um, and you need like a ten. I'm gonna give it to you anyways, but I just want to see if you get that's get a twelve. It. Yeah, so you're yeah. fine. Um, so you run up Brockmar uh, Brockmar's back, jump over, and due to the extra height of him being six ten, you get a little bit higher of a gravity fall which is 9.8 meters per second. So you get a little bit more oomph into your swing. Earth-like planet, good to know. Right. Er, er, yeah, fairly Earth-like planet. <laughs> yeah. um, and just crush the goblin, clunk, right in the skull. Goblin kills every dead. So you guys have now killed three goblins. I go. At, at this point, <laughs> you cackle at it. Yes. At this point, Colvin... You know something's going on. <laughs> I look up. I look up from my shoes. I'm like, did I hear something? What? That sounded painful. <laughs> Everyone, roll initiative, please. Ooh. Oh, well, that sucks. <laughs> Seven. <laughs> hey, if there's something to suck at on your on your roll on your uh, your dice. Oh my flipping god! Is not the worst. You get another one. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I initiative modifier. Uh, it's, uh, well, where'd it go? There it is, four. Oh, so, okay, so five. Five. Still, geez. I got a seven as well. I got a 19. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> <laughs> well, we know how that last goblin's gonna die. <laughs> Brockmar's like, fuck these plebs. <laughs> <laughs> seven and then, uh, sorry, Lemon, what'd you get? Uh, another seven. Another seven. How are we breaking that initiative tie? Is that going to be speed? Uh, uh, it'll be it'll be your um, dexterity. Okay, then you I definitely go first. Four. You go first first with a plus four. A plus six. Dang! Yeah, that's my dex bonus. That's a monk man. Yep. Um. Okay. Let me get the goblins in here. Nice. You mean goblin? <laughs> for what it's worth, that's the only thing that I have going for me. <laughs> what, puns? No, my decks. <laughs> oh, your decks. <laughs> yeah, puns. <laughs> I'm quippy. That's my secret power. <laughs> <laughs> Could be worse. <laughs> um, okay, give me a second. Sorry, guys. I just have that playing in my mind. Four goblins hiding themselves behind bushes. <laughs> one of them getting shot through the face. One of them getting cleaved in half. The other one's skull gets shattered like right off the bat. <laughs> and that's the moment when <laughs> goblin, no goblin number four had a flashback and realized all the wrong that he did in his life to get to this point. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you see him as a child being bullied. Like, and he's training super hard. There's a montage of him, like, taking care of his, his village. <laughs> You're the best. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Nothing's gonna ever keep you down. <laughs> uh, the philanthropist. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, real fast. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to do this quick. Um, Colvin, what was your... Uh, in Five. Okay, so you're gonna go first. You're not last, actually. How am I not last? Well, Brian rolled. I rolled. Yeah. So oh. you, uh, yeah, you're fine. And, All right. Hey, okay. good so, rolling, Jim. <laughs> after after you hear um, after after this amazing round of sneak attacks, <laughs> the other goblin, the one left alive, lets out a sh like a shriek. Like a goblin shriek, um, very fangirlish, um, woo girl almost, but not as wooey, more more scared, um, because he just saw three uh, his three buddies just get Dropped. wrecked, um, and all of a sudden, out of <laughs> the bushes, two more goblins jump out that you guys didn't actually see, mm. that actually were hiding correctly <laughs> in the bushes not outside Supply. the bushes with branches 
All right. So it is now combat. Brockmar, you are first. Okay. So the one that was left is still closest. Uh huh. Right? Okay. I'm just going to pull my axe out with my evil grin. I'm going to stare at him and I'm just going to trudge up to him, raising it to swing down on. Okay. That is 19. That is a hit. Okay. And that is 15 points of damage. That is a dead goblin again. Um, <laughs> he just straight mate. up just whonk, another one right in half. But a dun dun dun. Right at the end. Um, well, he was next, so that goblin's dead. Um, <laughs> Lemon, go ahead. It is your. There are two goblins that have appeared uh, to the one to the right and one to the left of the all now dead goblins that have been basically lined up. Okay. Um. So I'm going to. So they're they're like right next to each other. I uh, kind of yeah. I mean like five. Within about five feet. Okay. Um, I'm going to go up to the one on the right and I'm going to use, I'm going to run up to him and with an unarmed strike, I'm going to swing. Okay. And that's a nat 20. Um, cheater. (laughs) Uh, all right. Do, 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 do. So that's seven points of damage. Okay. And then I am going to... You did your, uh, with a nat 20, you doubled your dice yes. roll, right? Yeah, correct. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to... Do, 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 do. Sorry, I, I, this is my first time playing a monk, so bear with me while I, I make sure. I'm going to use my bonus action to spend one key point for fur, uh, Flurry of Blows, and I'm going okay. to attack that goblin again with an unarmed strike. Okay. <laughs> that's an 18 I mean, you already killed him you already killed him with your first oh <laughs> well i guess i mean i guess so. <laughs> you you punch your staff through his chest um actually that i'm i'm unarmed striking him oh you unarmed strike so you punch his sternum and his sternum collapses and he dies okay and for my last attack action because the flurry of blows gives me two unarmed strikes i'm going to turn to the other one okay um and that is he's he's about 20 so the way the way i I don't know sorry i don't know you had that were hiding and then you had two come in on either side so you had one on one on the left and one on the right of those uh three that were dead right you said they were were five feet away from each other correct yep so increments of five feet so you've got uh one on the left who just came out then you had dead goblin dead goblin dead goblin Oh, okay. Yeah, so I, I can't. Uh, then, then a live goblin. Then sorry, I didn't. I didn't explain that well. My bad. Um. Okay. Do, do, so do, you do. can move to it because you didn't really do a move action because you were already by a dead. Okay. Well then. Uh. Eh, you know what? I'm just gonna end my turn after killing that other goblin. Um. And yeah, that'll be my turn. Okay. And next is Zalanus. I'm gonna shoot the last goblin. And that is a 16. That is a hit. Barely, but that is a hit. Seven damage. That is a kill. God damn it. I'm going to have to make this harder. Um, So you... you And I come running in. Yeah! (laughs) You just slide like with with the... Power slide. Um, so you again shoot an arrow at the guy arrow flies true punctures straight through goblin's armor um, hitting him in the chest and goblin falls over dead Um, well fuck that's all I really had planned for tonight and it is also at our two hour mark that we said um, but we can wrap this up and then we'll we'll call it a night but um, after after the combat, um, you guys notice there's no one else around. I mean, good, Colvin, for being there. Mm-hmm. You did great. Oh, you, no, I got you guys. I got you guys. 
I'm really proud that you were there and back. Um, half half the battles just showing up. It is. <laughs> it is every day at work. I mean, uh, normally. Uh, but, <laughs> That's yeah, about so all I do is I just show up. You get paid, right? Yep. <laughs> yeah. Um, so you guys go ahead and um, what would you like to do? I want to loot the bodies. Okay. I'm just cleaning my... Did somebody say loot? <laughs> I smack him right in the face. <laughs> ah, <laughs> Four points of damage. No, um, <laughs> so, yeah, to kill. Le- <laughs> Levin smacks uh, Colvin in the face because he made a horrible... <laughs> um, but you guys go ahead and loot the bodies that you can. Um, the problem being two of them have been cleaved in twain. Um, so you can't get anything off of those two. There's absolutely nothing. Um, <laughs> he didn't leave just... the pockets in Twain. Did yeah, <laughs> he 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 killed everything. Um, but overall, after looting the goblins, um, you get um, a few. Uh, you get five crudely made goblin arrows. A, a really 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 crudely made wooden shield and two scimitars. Do we find any vials of experience points? <laughs> I do not. Uh, and oh, uh, that actually brings me into that. Uh, the way I'm going to do levels, I'm going to tell you uh, we're not going to track experience. We're not going to do anything, but I'll let you know when to level up. Like, okay, you're now level four. Um, just because I figured that'll be easier instead of being like, okay, so so honest, you killed two goblins, so you get four experience for that and uh you know colvin you didn't do anything so you don't get any experience <laughs> so fuck yourself uh, yeah, so, uh you made guys, a horrible joke lie. so you actually owe me experience um i made you know, a lot you guys don't even know how much gold all the villagers threw at me while i was uh-huh. on stage i am rich uh-huh. with, with a couple of coins speaking of people from the village i look around for the mayor well, the mayor is back in the town. You guys are about 200, 200 plus yards. Um, you're by the dock. If you look at the map I sent, you're kind of by the dock, which is about, I'd say about 250, 300 yards away, and there are houses in the way, so you don't see the mayor. It doesn't mean he couldn't be nearby and I can spot him. I mean, if, if you want, want to roll a perception check, go ahead. I already know the answer. <laughs> Well, with a one, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to see him. You definitely don't see the mayor because he's not there. But because I hit him back. You don't, don't see him. <laughs> you de- no, no, Lemon hits you. So you, oh, just okay. turn, you just turn and hit the... <laughs> I'm still not paying attention to what's going on, clearly. <laughs> so I'm just swinging now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So um, at this point in time, uh, there are five dead goblins around you guys they had it coming they had it coming. what would you like to do besides i mean you already looted them i say well, we I mean, drag these bodies back to the main area and collect a reward i think that's a great idea bounty i like it okay so i'm assuming brockmar is going to carry all of it yes i pick okay. up the three that are I'll carry oh, half of one oh, of the other man. bodies. <laughs> well, you've got you've got one with a crushed sternum, and then you have two with uh, eye. Uh, they're basically their eyes shot out by arrows. Yeah. I grab those three. Okay. The two that are in half, I just leave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's probably fair. I mean, you could just tell them they're back there when we get get up to them. I take I some of their teeth believe us. for like trophies, and that's about it. Okay, so. You're gonna say you're gonna put some teeth in a pouch, yep. like a little belt pouch. Awesome! Yeah. Oh, this will be fun. <laughs> Try to sell them. Do you want these teeth? Just take some of their blood, make blood goblin teeth? blood mead. I'm gonna say I got like five goblin teeth. Yeah, I think mean, five is a good number. Um, all right, so you guys bring the bodies back to the main town, and and the mayor and um, a few other uh, villagers are hanging out inside of the inside of the. Uh, square and they they look horrified that you're one bringing dead bodies to them two they're kind of impressed because once they see that they're goblins they're 
whoa, these guys are uh, these guys are legit. Especially um, me. You can write a, a great song about it about the battle, about how I I took them the all lake. on. <laughs> yeah. Well, hey, I mean, single handedly saved my friends. Brock Meyer almost died, you know. Brock, yeah, he. I mean, he was. I had to pick him up over my shoulder. My goblins. People don't realize that we actually die. tell them, guys. Yep. No. All right. So people uh, don't they gonna realize that we do? tell them to write those lyrics. He doesn't make them up. We tell him to do that. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> so the, it's the all mayor, true. the mayor comes out and he's like, "Oh, wow! That wow! What a what a great! What, you you killed them. You found them. What, were these? Of course, the goblins, we killed them. Were these the goblins that that attacked?" Tim? Some women <laughs> look so the rest of the question mark at the end. <laughs> just Tim? <laughs> like how you ended that like a question. <laughs> like I guess you didn't know his name. Yeah, didn't know his name. <laughs> I guess that makes sense. Oh, I don't oh, like this man. Guys, 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 he means dead Tim. Uh... <laughs> well, this, how are we this supposed is... to know if they're the ones that killed him? I have Tim wasn't really doing it. Well, we did, they have, did they have arrows? I don't actually remember what I did for him, damn it. Uh, <laughs> did they have arrows? Of course they had arrows. And goblins. they were the goblins. You're a logistic <laughs> master. <laughs> Seems I legit. Know, I'm pretty good. Everyone You're too stupid to even insult. Roll a uh, insight <laughs> check real quick. Everyone roll an insight. 16. <laughs> Jesus, Twelve. Can you just learn how to run better? Den- er, Lemon doesn't notice shit. <laughs> okay. Five. Okay. So, Zolanis, you're the only person that picks up that he's not giving all the information forward. Um, it- It's very kind of like... Oh, you found it. Like, it's to you. Why do you stop? Hold on. Let me, have, let me try and figure out what I'm going to say. Why do you keep holding back on us? We just saved your town. We just avenged your night watch. What the hell? Oh, I, I, I'm not holding. Oh, there it is. I found it. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh-huh. Dropped it. Oh. Um, I'm not holding anything back. Like, I. I've. Uh, this is. This has been a tragedy. We haven't had someone murdered here. I'm just. The hell you're not holding back. I know what you're. I know you're holding something back. What is it? The guards again step in front of him and lower their spears to. Oh, I'm not drawing my bow. Back off. I drop the goblins and step in front of him, in front of the spears. Okay. You're holding uh, something back. What is it? Real quick. Um. Brockmark, give me an intimidation check. Intimidation. Uh, do they have intimidation here? Yes. They should. That is an 18. Um, counter this. <laughs> okay, yeah. Um, so the guards step back, um, scared of you, and, and, and set the spear and pu- kind of pull their spears back. They don't lower their spears. Take they take about four or five steps back, so they're probably about fifteen feet away from you now. Like, uh, no. <laughs> um. So Zolanis, you, you said that you. What would you say one more time? Uh, I don't even remember <laughs> something about me holding back. Oh yeah, we just saved your town. We just avenged your night watch. What the heck are you holding back from us? Tell me now. Go ahead and roll an intimidation check. That is an 18 as well. Well, it didn't work. Because I actually rolled a 20. Oh, I'm so excited. That's my first 20 in a while. Um, High five. <laughs> I know. I know. I'm so proud of myself. Um, this will be the only one for like the next seven fucking episodes. Um, he, he looks at you and goes... You, sir, are an outsider. You have no place to question me and how this town deals with this issue. 
Thank you for killing the chance. goblins. Well, thank you for killing the goblins. Now, if you please would go back to your room and do what you have to do here in this town and then leave us in peace. While he's talking and distracted, uh, Lemon's going to sneak behind him. Okay, go ahead and give yeah. me a seat check. And Brockmar doesn't like being told what to do, so I crack yeah. my knuckles and I take like a step towards the mayor. That's a 16. So give another, give another <laughs> We're not another having this mayor's crap. Check. A 16 for your sneak? Yes. Um, you, like, he watches you. The, 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 the mayor, because again, I'm, I am on fire right now, so I can't roll sh but when it comes to this stuff, you guys are fucked. Just warning. Uh, he rolled an 18 on that one with his, his perception of two. So you got a 20. I, uh, I rolled a 17 on my intimidation. Okay, no, he steps back. So basically how this scene plays out. Um, Lemon, you try to sneak around, but he basically watches you walk around him. After he basically, he stares at you as you're standing behind him, like, all right, weird. He turns and all of a sudden, Brockmar's in his face, cracking his knuckles. He takes a step back. The no hell you don't tells know me what to do. The hell you don't. I, 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 as I said, I, 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 I uh, 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 sorry, I lost my voice. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm so sorry that you guys think that I'm, I'm holding out on you. I, it's just been a very stressful night and. I am very thankful that you were able to find the killers and find those goblins that were out and about. Um, but if you please would go back to your room and we can discuss this in the morning when it's daylight and we've all gotten some sleep because I know I'm tired and I'm sure you guys are having come. I don't sleep dream. and I'm not taking no for an answer. What are you holding back? He looks at his guards and goes, guards. Put that one in the brig. The hell are you going to put me in the brig? And I the dropped my bow. And go ahead and roll a counter grapple. So a strength. <laughs> 19. That's what I got as well. Because two guards plus five on one guard uh, to help the other one. And then a 14 because they're just normal commoners. So they have zero stats. It Time goes to the defender. It does. So you're able to, to get out of there. That doesn't go over well. Fight, 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 fight. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to end it right here. <laughs> Freeze frame. Freeze frame with like 80s theme music as, <laughs> as it's like, you're what? the best yeah. around. <laughs> Nothing's going to ever keep you down. So we'll, we'll cut it. We'll cut it here because I know I, know I want to be sensitive this time. Six tomorrow. And I'm sure everyone else needs to get to do stuff. I've got um, call at 4 a.m. Yeah. Mm. Wait, wait, what? I've got a 4 a.m. call tomorrow. Like call cast, like, like set call. Oh, set call. I was yeah. like, what? But yeah, I, um, I, We'll end it here. Uh, we'll pick it right back up um, with Zolanis evading guards next time. Uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in. And uh, we, I mean, this is our first time, so sorry if it's very rough. We'll get kind of a full going. I just want to, um, you know, uh, actually, Luke, Luke, why don't you go ahead and give a shout out to who we're going to give a shout out to for our art and oh, everything. Yeah, uh, I also want to do have everybody go on over and on amazon.com and check out Jane Jira Damron and her books. You can find them over on the stream and there will be a link in the YouTube video on my end on the channel. Uh, she is hooking us up with some with some channel art and some business art at some point and she has recently written a couple of books that uh, I will I will actually pull that up right now. Um, give me just a second Brian and I will I will give a little spiel. No worries. It's the only like sponsor thingy stuff mm -hmm. that we have. So, 
Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, her, her Jane Jira Dameron on Amazon. Her book is called Picture Us, and it's a young adult novel with uh, LGBT themes. So go check that out. It is it is a wonderful book. I've read it myself, so please go support her. And once again, the link will also be on my stream channel at Adaraxis Station and on the YouTube channel below. So thank you very much. Cool. Anyone else? I think we're good. Thank you uh, so much for tuning Connor. in. Well, that that we already know Sean Connery's still alive. I mean, he's alive and he looks as good as he did yesterday. Yes. So, thank you guys so much for tuning in. And always remember, Gosh. don't be a dice bag. <laughs>